Everybody, welcome back to the Heisenberg Show. Today we have a gear review for you. Is it focused? It's focused. All right, we are comparing Polycro versus Tyvek for a ground sheet or footprint for your backpacking tent. And so we have on the one side Polycro and on the other side Tyvek. Which one is better? You're about to find out. On one side we have Tyvek, on the other side we have Polycro. Let's go down the pros and cons of each. Tyvek is heavier, but that's negligible. It's really not that much heavier. If you hold the piece of Polygro and the piece of Tyvek, which are about the same size, I don't know. We're talking about grams here. Grams. We're not talking ounces. Let's see. Polycro is very light, but that's negligible. Tyvek, very, very durable. Look at this stuff. This is our Tyvek. Durable. Polycro tears easily. Yeah, well, look at this sheet of Polycro. It is being held together with scotch tape. Very not so durable. Tyvek. It makes more noise initially. You hear this? This is actually not new Tyvek. When you have new Tyvek, Tyvek, it's very loud. Very loud. This is kind of loud. But Polycro makes less noise, but it never goes away. Tyvek, on the other hand, after you use it for a while, the noise will go away. Polycro, it never goes away. You live with that forever. Let's see. Tyvek is the best protection. You can't see this. I can't zoom in enough, but this stuff is thick. It's like, it's thick. This stuff will protect your bottom of your tent. Polycro, on the other hand, it's just like, I don't know, it's more of like a placebo effect. Like you put it down underneath your tent and you hope it'll protect your tent, but it really doesn't do anything. Polycro. Let's see. Tyvek is for normal through hikers. I mean, Tyvek, what are we talking about? Grams between Polycro and Tyvek? Grams, grams. I don't even think it's ounces, grams. So for a normal through hiker, Tyvek is okay. For Polycro, I mean, for a gram weenie, and y'all know who you are, the gram weenies out there, you know who I'm talking to, ultralight, you know, but if you're really ultralight, you don't even need a ground sheet because you're not carrying a tent. I know what I'm talking about. Y'all ultralighters, yeah, y'all just like, shel I mean, a uh, 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 shelter hop. Okay, but anyway, that's another video. Ultralighters, you know, y'all can carry the polycro and use it as your footprint as your tent, shelter, everything. Just one big piece of Polycro. And when you freeze and you die out in the woods, don't say Heisenberg didn't tell you because Heisenberg told you, don't go ultralight, that's stupid. Tyvek is where you want to go. So let's say the winner between Polycro and Tyvek. How do I write this backwards? Can y'all see this? Winner, Tyvek. If you're making your own ground sheet, AKA, what is it called? Footprint? Mm -hmm. Footprint? Yeah, you want the Tyvek. You don't want the Polycro. Polycro is just like having the cellophane wrapper off of a pack of cigarettes. If you want to carry the wrapper of a pack of cigarettes around with you, fine, but it's not going to protect your tent. If you want to carry around some insulation that's really going to work, get some Tyvek. Everybody, thanks for watching. That's all I have for today. I'm the host Heisenberg. Thanks for watching the tips and tricks. Remember, if you're buying a ground sheet or a footprint for your tent to protect the bottom from abrasions or punctures, I recommend Tyvek, not Polycro. But if you're really going ultralight, use Polycro. And if you're really going real ultralight, don't even carry a tent. Just like, you know, so you don't even need Polycro. Just sleep out under the trees. Because if you're that ultralight, that's what you're doing anyway. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey.